close your eyes and watch the breath. Try to appreciate the breath. As it comes in, it's nourishing the body. As it goes out, it's expelling things in the body that you don't want. This is the force of life. So if the force of life is feeling tight and constricted, then something's wrong. It should feel refreshing. So think of it coming in and refreshing the whole torso and allowing yourself to appreciate how that feels. This way the mind is more and more willing to settle down, to stay in a place that feels good in the present moment. Where it can do the work that needs to be done, with a sense of well-being, with a sense of strength. Because there's a lot of work that needs to be done in the mind. When the Buddha talks about being in the present moment, it's not just to hang out in a nice place. It's because there's work that needs to be done to the mind, and if you don't do it now, you have no idea when you'll have the next chance to do it. After all, life is very fleeting. Things can change very quickly. We read about the hurricane, how people living in comfort a few days ago and now have no food at all, no electricity, no clean water. And it's going to be a while before they can get back to normal. So we shouldn't take normal for granted. It depends on a lot of conditions, any of which could go awry at any time. So you've got the opportunity right now to do something good with your mind. So nourish it with a comfortable place to stay, and then set your sights on what you're doing, what your intentions are, why you want to do something, why you want to say something, why you want to think something, what do you anticipate as a result of your actions. And then look at what you actually do and see what action results you actually get, and see where you might want to change things the next time around. It's a very basic principle, but it underlies everything in the teaching. But it does require work, and so before we get to work, we get the mind nourished. We nourish it by allowing it to enjoy the breathing process, so that it will want to stay here and will be strengthened as you stay here. And that way, when some difficult issues come up, intentions that are hard to resist, impulses that are hard to say no to, or things that you know you should be doing but are hard to say yes to. You find that you have the strength, you have the resources to do this. Do the right thing. And that way you're working, but you're also getting repaid many times over at the same time. Because this is good work, cleaning out your mind, the, the area of the world for which you are most responsible. So give yourself the strength, give yourself the place in the mind where you can do this work well.